Welcome to Evolution and Controls. I'm your host, Tim Wilson. This is a special edition of Evolution and Control. We're here at Morell's headquarters for the Automate the Future event. It's based around the Automate show in Detroit, and we're here to talk about technology, automation, and the future. We have a special guest with us today. It's Mr. Larry Rowe. He's the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Sun Hydraulics. Larry, thank you very much for joining us. Tim, thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about Sun Hydraulics. Okay, uh, Sun Hydraulics uh, specializes in pressure controls, obviously, for technology. Uh, Sun Hydraulics is a part of the Helios umbrella, and Helios is an operating company. Uh, the trading symbol on the New York Stock Exchange is HLIO, and uh, so Sun Hydraulics is a part of four uh, divisions that are underneath Helios. We have Innovation, which is Displays. We have Faster, which is our Quick, Dis uh, quick Disconnect group. And then we also have uh, Balboa, which has automation in the uh, hot tub market and spas and stuff in, in, in electronics displays. In. Okay. Well, Morel is one of your distributors for the Sun product line. We appreciate you coming here and joining us for the event. But you went to the Automate show, show today as well, right? I sure did, yeah. What did you expect to see? What did you look for? You know, the main thing I was looking for is to kind of see where uh, some of the software and the technology is going. Uh, Sun's been working on automation for 25 years in the plant. Some of the other things we're looking at is in the mobile markets and stuff, looking at AI, where the machine technology, uh, infrastructure where the machines are going to be, uh, understanding uh, lifetime on components and stuff, sensor technology in that area. Okay. Did you see something that is relevant to, to you or to your job as the sales and marketing vice president or maybe to your company and the product lines? I did, yeah. I saw a couple booths there today where they were talking about uh, IT technology infrastructure within the organization, uh, some really neat stuff that's out there. How do you think it's going to impact some? Is it going to have an impact? Is it going to change your product line? Is it going to change the markets that you approach? It, it is, a matter of fact. Uh, there's two sides of it I look at. There's the implant side of it. There's also the uh, product uh, proceeding technologies that we're working on. Hydraulics for the future and stuff where tech, uh, sensors are going to tie into the technology where you're going to start having smart valves. you start having pumps and different things within valves. So, yeah, it's uh, a lot of things are coming. AI-controlled valves someday? We're going to have AI-controlled valves someday, for sure. So, Larry, you and I, I mean, we, we need to be honest. We have worked together in the past, so we've known each other for more than a few years. We've seen a lot of technology change. I don't know that I care to say how many years, but we were young men back when we worked together. Uh, that's correct, and we've seen a lot of changes over the years. I think when we graduated about four years ago? Four years, yeah, yeah, at least like four that. years ago. Yeah, right, exactly. So, with all of that technology change, what do you see in the next five years? What does the next five years look like? Well, what you're going to see uh, is you're going to start seeing higher pressures. Okay. You know, we've seen pressures go from 1,800 PSI to 3,000 PSI to 5,000 PSI, and now we're looking at 7,500 PSI up to 10,000 PSI. So you're going to start seeing a lot higher pressures for the hydraulic systems. That means that some of the systems are smaller then, or the amount of oil moving is, is lower? If you think about it, the smaller the unit, you know, the higher the pressure, you start saving weight, capacity. Do you see technology enabling you to take those products even further than they are today? Yeah, matter of fact, yeah, we're going to be able to see, uh, you know, we're taking technology with radio remote controls, taking it to handhelds, uh, yes, for sure. So maybe by the time you're an old man, the technology will be really full, fully implemented. That's correct. It's coming so quick, we'll see all of them. Barry, I want to appreciate it. I want to tell you I appreciate you taking the time. It's been good to talk and connect again. Thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me. This is Tim Wilson. I'm your host. And remember, keep moving.